My name is Mark. I'm one of the founders of, uh, of Zoku. And I want to tell you about what we did over the past five, six years in developing this new hotel concept. Zoku is a Japanese word. It means family, tribe or clan. And it was used in the uh, 70s to describe that people with the same background started to live together. And we thought it was a very cool brand name, so that's the reason why we decided to keep it. Um, before I tell you all about Zoku, this is a slide what others tell about Zoku. And already prior to the opening of Zoku, during our concept development phase, we won some prestigious awards. One of them is the Radical Innovation Award, Best Disruptor in the Industry, and after opening we won the uh, Best Apart Hotel uh, Awards. Obviously we're super proud of these awards and uh, we've had quite some press uh, attention on it. First of all, I want to tell you about a bit of uh, trends that we see, some global trends. And uh, it is those trends that we've been researching over the past couple of years. And based on those trends, we've built the concept. And one of them is the rise of international travel and the, um, the extended stay. Extended stay is a, um, is a part of the hotel segment that's been there for quite some time. Uh, it started in the 70s in, um, in the United States with Residence Inn, the first Residence Inn opened uh, back then. And um, you see that the momentum uh, is starting in Europe as well. Also because the borders have been open now for, for quite some years already and international travel starts to pick up in, uh, in Europe as well. Second big trend that we've seen is the mobility and flexibility of talent. People from my generation typically stay 10, 12, 15 years at the same company and slowly making a career in that same company. But people from the current generation, they just want a cool project somewhere. And a recent study from PricewaterhouseCoopers shows that over 70% of the current millennials want to work outside of their home uh, country during their career. So that is a big shift. Another big trend is urbanization where we see that last year there were more than 50% of the global population living in urban areas. You see that that will increase to almost 70% in only 30 years from now. So that continues to increase. And every day about 180,000 people are moving to cities. And it increases the pressure on land prices, on how we use space, and for us that's a very important trend to really make sure that we utilize the space to the best. Based on all those trends, we started to create the product. And it was about five, six years ago that based on this research, we started to talk with our target audience. And the target audience for, Zo for Zoku is the global nomad. And the global nomad for us is someone who's living and working abroad for more than a week. So between five nights and three months. And we started to do interviews with these global nomads to really understand their wants and their needs, to really understand their frustrations when they were in a different city for, their, for a project. And based on all that feedback, we started to create prototype rooms. So we started from the inside out rather than from the outside in. And over the past five years, we've taken all those uh, uh, global nomads, the 150 people, we've taken them on board on our journey. So we created mock-up rooms, uh, so we rented a warehouse in uh, the north of uh, the Netherlands, uh, north of Amsterdam, and there we uh, created the mock-up rooms and we tested the mock-up rooms together with them. And even in the last prototypes, we had our uh, target audience wear mobile EEG scans to really test some emotions as well in those uh, rooms, to really get the product how they want it. What is the target audience exactly? It is typically for people who are on a business trip, to put it in a conventional way. So people who work and live in a different city for uh, more than a week. And call them international entrepreneurs, self-employed professionals, project teams, people who work for tech companies and get sent to another, uh, to another city for their work. And um, what is the product? In Zoku, we have two distinctive lives. One of them is your private life, and the other is your public life. And the private life is the Zoku loft, what we call it. 
when we launched Zoku, when we launched the brand, the com campaign was called the end of the hotel room. Because in the loft, you have everything that you need to work, to live, and to play efficiently. Actually, it is a full apartment on the same size of a four-star hotel room. And that is 25 square meters. And we needed to do that in that same size of, the, uh, uh, of a four-star hotel room. Because the target audience wants to live and work when they are abroad within the city boundaries where the, the, the magic happens, so in the, urban, uh, in the urban context. And if you put the uh, business model of a standard extended stay residence in type of product yeah, where you typically have the size of two hotel rooms combined um, in your spreadsheet and then you start calculating with the land prices, etc., it doesn't work. So there was a need to be super efficient with the square meters. So it took us five years to create it and uh, we created the Zoku loft in 25 square meters. So the focal point in the loft is the kitchen table. It's got a fully equipped kitchen. We have put the bed on a mezzanine level to save space and it gives you the opportunity to have business meetings in the same, uh, uh, in the same space. Normally, when you're in a hotel room with other people, it's difficult to invite colleagues or so to your hotel room uh, because there's no place to work. Second uh, life in Zoku is your public life. We call that better together. Um, normally in typical hotels, we heard from the research that we did with the Global Nomads that people feel a bit lonely when they're abroad for a week or longer. And that also the, the lobbies normally tend to be quite boring. Um, and in the idea that we had with Zoku, we wanted to make a place where we bring ideas and people together. So basically create a place where we got a lot of uh, lofts, let's say 150 Zoku lofts, topped with cool social spaces where people feel at ease and, uh, and can connect with other people. And especially in this time where about everybody is always online, always checking out Facebook profiles, etc., it's good to have a place where you can really connect to other people. So this is a very important uh, part of, uh, of Zoku. Also, the business model obviously needed to, uh, to be super uh, efficient in order to be able to secure sites in good locations. So we used the blue ocean uh, strategy to create more value at lower cost. And the extended stay business model is for a number of reasons more uh, attractive than that of a regular full service hotel. Let me tell you a bit about our project here in Amsterdam. This is the city of Amsterdam. In the eastern part of the uh, city, on the um, uh, Weesperstraat, we found our first building. This is a picture of the building. It used to be an office uh, building, 15,000 square meters. And it is located in a street that was, vo that was voted by the Amsterdam um, um, inhabitants as ugliest street of Amsterdam only a few years ago. And this is what we love, because this, the, the, the building from outside it, it's beautiful, we, we, we like it because of the, of the repetition. And um, we decided to, to talk with the, uh, with the owners and uh, see if we could create a destination over there. Here you see some pictures of the uh, renovation and here is what we wanted to create. To the right part of the building, this is the building from the front side, to the right part we decided to put Zoku with 133 lofts. We opened last year in May and the total top floor is public areas. To the left side of the building, we asked the owner if we could help find our own neighbor, because we were a bit worried if we left that to the owner that they would find just a regular uh, office user, eh? and then maybe you get the head office of a vacuum cleaning company, and we wanted to get some real life in that building. So we decided to, uh, to run a beauty contest with some co-working uh, providers, and we selected the company called WeWork, to be our neighbors. And at this moment, you see that's really an international hotspot with creative people, etc., in the building. Some pictures. Um, when you enter um, Zoku, uh, it is on the ground floor. There's no lobby, no reception on the ground floor. Immediately, you go to the top floor, and there you got this, uh, this green and glass house 
to uh, connect you to the uh, to the social areas. This is when you enter the uh, the hotel. These are the public spaces, and what we did in designing these uh, public areas is we took out all the traditional barriers that a regular hotel has. So there is no lobby with people standing behind it. There is self-service check-in. You can even uh, open your uh, your room with your uh, iPhone, pre-check-in, etc. And these are spaces where you can sit, work, and relax. We got urban green, rooftop terraces. This is the social heart of Zoku. We call it the, uh, the living kitchen. In the kitchen, we took a lot of the back of house facilities and we brought them to the front of house. And in the kitchen, we created long communal tables um, where people can connect with other people. Here are some pictures of the, uh, of the Zoku loft in there. And uh, on the picture to the right, you see the little staircase bringing you to the mezzanine level. And there is your bedroom. And you see at the right, you see also the kitchen table and the fully equipped kitchen over there. A little bit about the performance uh, of Zoku so far. So we opened May last year. So uh, tomorrow we will celebrate our first anniversary. And uh, here we got some, uh, some trailing 12 months uh, figures for you. Occupancy has been very good uh, for us, also ADR and RevPAR. And most importantly, what we see in the, um, in the extended stay uh, business model, which is still a pretty conventional uh, business model, that quite some bookings are made on a local level. So that made us to uh, achieve that the uh, dependency on OTA is relatively low. So we have over 50% of direct bookings already in the first year. Also in uh, guest satisfaction, we've been uh, doing a great job. Um, we're number one on uh, TripAdvisor in specialty lodgings uh, within six months after opening, and review scores are in general super good. Three months after the opening, the developer, the, uh, the previous owner, uh, exited uh, the building to uh, institutional capital. Standard Life uh, stepped in as our uh, owner. And uh, also for us, that is super important, also for our international expansion. About the international expansion, when we started with uh, Zoku and creating the concept, it was always our idea and our ambition to create an international network because our target audience is global. So that's what we, uh, what we started. And at this moment, we're rolling out our uh, international rollout, starting in Europe. Uh, we're building our team in Europe now having people on the ground speaking to owners, developers, and municipalities to explain uh, the case. And we also started in the US at this moment. What typical locations are we looking for? We're looking for the um, international creative cities of this world. Within Europe, that's typically Copenhagen, Berlin, Vienna, uh, London, Paris, and the likes. And uh, the same accounts, obviously, for other continents. What can we offer to developers and owners? Uh, we're super flexible. Imagine a building and imagine the Tetris game uh, where you put little modules in a building. That is what Zoku is all about. So super flexible and super efficient in, uh, in the square meter usage. We can do greenfield, ground up developments. We can do conversions of existing uh, buildings, what we did in Amsterdam. We can do rebrands of uh, existing hotels as well. And to the right, we can also be part of a bigger uh, mixed scheme development to get some life in there. Current city focus. In uh, Europe, we have, a, we have some cities uh, that we focus on. Uh, we have one open and the red dots are uh, cities that we have uh, advanced uh, deals at this moment. And we have boots on the ground in the US where we also focus. I think we have some slides on sites that we won. There was a competition a year ago in Paris uh, called Réinventer Paris. And it was where the municipality of Paris was looking for innovative new concepts. And, um, in that competition, we won two out of the four hotel uh, plots uh, that were awarded. And uh, one of them is this one in Clichy Batillon, also a mixed use uh, building. Top three floors will be uh, Zoku, below that will be co working again, and in the ground floor it will be restaurants. Second one is uh, also in Paris, bigger mixed uh, use scheme um, in an uh, upcoming area where a lot of startups are sitting. 35,000 square meters in total, and Zoku will get the uh, building, dedicated building to the right, 140 keys. 
and uh, recently we closed the deal in uh, in Vienna which is one of the most livable cities in uh, in Europe for also a new uh, a new build so cool. That was my presentation Matt.